In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to print out your study guide for lab. I made this tutorial specifically during the spring semester of 2015 for my general anatomy and physiology hybrid class. So some of the specifics of what you see on the syllabus or on any given screen of Blackboard may differ a little bit from semester to semester in between the face-to-face -face general AMP class and the hybrid class. But the basics and what you really need to know will be the same. So let's say I wanted to print out the study guide for the first lab, that is the lab for week one. I'm going to go to my syllabus and find the schedule on the syllabus and go to week one. The lab is shown in italics, and the lab for week one is Language of Anatomy, Exercise 1, and Organ Systems Overview, Exercise 2. So now I know which labs will be covered during week one. So now I'm going to go to Blackboard, find the appropriate study guide, and print it out. So now I'm going to go to the Blackboard home page and whenever you come into Blackboard you'll come into the announcements page and you'll always see the banner which will be your textbook. So I'm looking for the study guide for lab so I'm going to go to the main menu and I'm going to find lab. Everything I need, anything having to do with lab is going to be under the lab folder. So I click on lab And then you can see that I indeed do have a folder called Exercise 1, the Language of Anatomy, and Exercise 2, Organ Systems Overview. That's the lab that we're going to be having the first week, so I will click on that folder. And everything that I need having to do with that first lab is going to be in this folder. I'm looking for the study guide, so I'm going to go down to the second item, so study guide, the language of anatomy, and organ systems overview, and I can see that that study guide is in a PDF form, and if I click on that, I see it, and then I can print it off. And so what you'll be doing each week before lab, you'll be finding on your syllabus the lab for that week, and then going to Blackboard and printing off the study guide for that lab at least do that. Best practices would be to, in addition to printing off the study guide, looking it over, getting a general sense of what's going to be covered during that lab so you're not coming in cold, and also uh, doing what you can of that lab before coming to lab. In some cases you can do a lot at home before coming to lab. In other cases you need microscopes, you need models, you need things that are only found in lab, and you won't be able to do anything, hardly, uh, prior to coming to lab. As always, if you have any questions, make sure you contact me, your instructor.